All right, YouTubers. Right, got myself an Aspel cider. And we're now gonna start episode nine of the triple seven. Now, little story, I've uh, done a move about on the machines and a pot of gold has gone to a new home, really pleased of who it's gone to, absolute pleasure. And uh, yeah, now a little story. I was moving the machines around and I shoved 50 quid in this. I was adjusting some settings, adjusting the percentages and it's now set on what I would like to think I'd have it on if I had an arcade, all these games. And I've decided what I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, we just go on the menu, I'm going to do one more episode on each of these games and once that's done we're then going to switch it on to uh, the other category where they've got the £70 games. Category D or C is it? Someone will have to let me know, I'm being a bit lazy, I can't be bothered to search, a little quiz for you there if anyone knows. Um, category D or C is it for uh, £70 games? Basically what, what happened is keep saying basically don't I? Uh, yeah I went on Rainbow Riches free spins, pound steak 90%, put 50 quid in it, got the free spins pretty quick and on a pound steak mind you know 10 win lines, got the feature up to almost 250 quid, maxed it on the power gamble fucking jackpot came in didn't it? I couldn't believe it honestly so I just want to see how free spin is now going to play after a jackpot. So we'll load in the notes Real money, of course, it's not demo, and then again, it's mere machines, it doesn't really matter, does it? So, <laughs> yep. I'll start off with a hundred quid. I'm gonna do two pound steak just to try and get the old 20 win lines, you know. I'm just curious how it's gonna play after a jackpot. Once again, it just seems like this home machine is just fucking paying out, paying out, paying out. Yeah, I was just uh, reading the comments. Really appreciate all these comments come through. Some really long comments and that, you know. It's, I do read them all just to, you know, confirm here again. So we've got 1994, incentive for playing two quid of it is in an arcade. Got the gamble on. And here we go. Yeah, Jonathan Prescott just gave me a laugh. Only Fields and Horses, classic. Get in there. All right, Danny and your brother with you. Yeah, <laughs> you can't beat Only Fools, can you? I've been, I need to lay off the caffeine. I'm a bit shaky, that's why I'm now having a pint of cider. Yeah, Aspel Organic Cider. Yeah, I'll do one more episode on each of these games and we'll, like I said, we'll switch it to the 70 pounders, which will be fun. So once again, this is Rainbow Riches free spins on two pound steak, just after paying out a jackpot from a 250 pound feature gamble to 500 and it came in. The game is random, but I believe it's a controlled random meaning it will remove uh, the, the random number generator, I think that's how they work, will remove winning combinations based on how much it's paid out to reach its theoretical percentage. So there's still a chance of winning big on any spin, but the chance might be less depending on if it's paid out or not prior. But of course the cycles are huge, so this is still all up for debate until someone comes along that programmed these games and says look this is how they work I don't know what to think you know but a controlled random sounds logical so if a jackpot's come out the way I understand it it will remove combinations for the big roll-ins but they're still them, co them combinations still exist, just not as frequently. And this is our first gamble opportunity. 
I do like the old swish gamble the free spins does. You kind of know if you're going to get it or not. Obviously a feature would be nice here. Problem is, if it doesn't do anything on this 200 quid, that's going to be a bit of a fail for the episode, really. Well, we're getting wins now, so... Lovely, to 100. Oh, it's literally just out there. Oh, no, we didn't get the third rail there. Toronto Fruit Slots, uh, one of his favourite games. Although well, last time he played it in the wild I felt a bit gutted for him because uh, we didn't realise it was on 88% until we looked at the pay table. Just goes to show you, you've got to check these guys in the wild, you've got to check the pay tables. Some arcade owners are very, very stingy. And what makes it worse, it was a compensated version. 88% and compensated. Ugh, disgusting. I mean, he put quite a lot in, didn't even get a feature. Well, it's munching this very quickly. Right, I might as well get loading in the, uh, the next hundred. Twelve quid. Cider. I have to sip it. I can't do a Timmy and down it. Absolute animal that guy sometimes, you know. Mm. Nice chilled cider, lovely. Go on. Ah, oh, you bastard. Six quid. Can I just get some momentum? No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, we've well, got a lot of kings there. Twenty win lines. No, we haven't. Oh, I thought it was going to link up. I thought it was going to link up, my bad. Right, that's 200 in, that's how fast it can take it. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a under 15 minutes episode then. Hmm, might be a short and sweet one this. Doing, doing. But like I say YouTubers, uh, yep this will be the last few episodes I do on the 500s. And then we'll switch it. Ooh. But if I was playing this specific cabinet in the wild, I would definitely be up from it. But of course, you wouldn't play it exactly how you do a home machine, would you? You know, you'd walk and then other people would be playing it in between you, so... Yeah. Be a short one. Oh no, no. Oh, £17.50 to 50. Press. That's in. To 100. 50 50. That's in as well. That's half your money back. We'll press it for 150. That's in as well. To for 200. Oh, it's just in. Now, do you max it? I kind of don't want it to be 500 because that'll just be ridiculous. I'm trying to. Trying to show you how brutal triple sevens can be, but I can see why the industry are getting rid of them now. These are how they pay to 500. Oh, it didn't come in. 
Oh god. The triple seven. I'm, that is honestly on on decent percentages. These are the best cabinets in the arcade. Triple eight. Just I just do not think they're the same at all. Honestly, they do not play the same. Oh, we maxed it for five hundred, and it didn't come in to fifteen quid to thirty to a hundred. Nope. Funny how we'd have been in profit though if we'd have took the two there. Go on, free spins! Ah, oh, you rat. Payback, the rat. Just press it. Doink. Oh, can you imagine? I'm kind of glad the 500 didn't come in, to be honest. <laughs> that would have just been ridiculous. Be nice to see a feature. Maybe, maybe, you know, I will go and get another 100 from upstairs and then I'll pause the video and redo it. Because we're only at 12 minutes. Just see how much it does, Rob. See if we can get the 500. I think the two to five there is a bit greedy if you were doing it out and about. You'd be on tilt mode now, wouldn't you? I might as well go and get some more money because if this is the last episode I'll do on free spins for a while, then you know, might as well make it a big one. You've got seven quid left in the credits. Right, as we're only up to 12 minutes, YouTubers, what I'll do is I'll just jump this and uh, be brutal as if we we're in the wild and uh, go and get go and be the gen and get another hundred. So bear with me, be right back. Okay, I have another hundred. Just where we left off, one pound still in the credits. Here we go then. Yep, this this 300 versus uh, free spins now. I could have just done that gamble to three, then to four, but I thought I fucking max it just to see if it'd come in, you know. Be nice to get the feature on this video. Have some more asphalt. <sighs> Catching. Yeah, like I said before, if anyone buys one of these with a few games on it, you won't regret it. just got, I just honestly think the 777 now has just got a bit of classic appeal, you know, um, in the arcades, you know, they've got a bit of age to them now, and the games run forever, you can't go wrong, someone did say the, the new games that are coming out, they're on, and they've got an expiry date, but obviously all these sort of games, the oldies, pots of gold, free spins, that they never expire, so... But the T8, so I don't think I've actually seen one come on the market yet. To, you know, the public. I mean, they've, got, they've got slightly bigger screens, they look a bit more vibrant, but... There's not that much difference other than fucking... They seem a bit tighter in my opinion, you know, shitty gambles and that. Ooh, it's gone a bit dead. I 
maybe I will have to get another hundred. Let's do our bollocks in, why not, you know? This is this not done anything that You get you get punished for not taking two hundred. This is what happens, you see. Go on. No, it couldn't do it. How much is that? Not enough for a gamble. Oh, maybe I'll get another hundred then. It's rare just to see the gamble on these days in the arcades, isn't it? They want to control you as much as possible because they can't afford to pay out 500. Financially they can, but the mindset of the uh, operators can't, or the owners, should I say. They don't like seeing someone win 500. Mega money. Right, fuck it, I'm going to get another 100. <laughs> we'll do our bollocks in. Be right back again. Third time lucky! Here we go. Don't worry, I've only had one side of YouTube's. Right, just to make just prove it's all legit. Look, 50p in there, right. Off we all. And the um, lesson here was uh, take 200 on the gamble. Or uh, save some. Oh, come on, I just want to see one feature. Come on. It's got my cider in my hand, sorry. Right. Is it going to be 500 versus free spins? <laughs> come on, you little leprechaun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Punished for being greedy now. Kerching. Is that a fiver? Seven fifty. Is this up? It's been a what? It's been ages since I've actually had to gamble. I just realised. In. In to a hundred fifty fifty. Nope. See if it doesn't bring in the feature, 500 in, you know, you, you, that's, you know, it's a bit, ooh. But like I say, it did just pay out 500, but it offered us the 200 on the gamble, 30 up, was it? You know, can't knock it too much, but when it munches, it munches. But I've got a feeling we're going to get a jackpot out of it. Two pounds. Ooh. We're living on the edge now.
I do like that when it turns into wild. I like that little graphics they're done. The online version is fucking shocking. It's so fucking shit. I don't know what Barcrest were thinking when they made the online version. It's just not the same at all. It doesn't come up with the right sound effects. It's got that stupid thing that keeps popping out to the right. It seems really fucking stingy. The, the bonuses are crap. Clearly whoever programmed the online version of Free Spins had not played this, the arcade version. That's so apparent. Same with the online version of Rainbow Rich, there's too many fucking small wins. Just, it just doesn't work. Although the pots do seem to come in more often, but they're not progressive like they are in the arcade, are they, you know? Thank you, Hyper. Alright, oh, it's gonna be 500 in then, guys. Fucking hell, man. Give the no exceptional workout. That does work really well, that acceptor. Sometimes when you go in the arcades, it's really hard for them to take the notes. But that one is, uh, yeah. Don't know, what, don't know what version that one is. Sometimes they got like a, it's really hard to get them up. Uh, it might be a newer one they got in some of them now, the 777s. Yeah, that isn't a, that isn't a recycler, is it? So, yeah. That, that was designed specifically for the triple seven. Whereas the other ones, like, you sort of have to go like underneath. Go on, just in. Now what are we doing? Just let's do it. Seventy-five, yeah. Hundred. Two or one fifty. Do it to two. Oh, are you serious? Well, I've done that last time and it didn't come in, did it? So it'll be a test now to see if it fucking does. Are you ready? Ooh, just out. So, <laughs> look, come on. Was it really saying if you'd have done it to four there, would it come in? Please, someone just... There must be someone who knows how that is programmed. Would it really have landed in the 400 bit there? Seriously, like, uh, I'd love to hear anyone's thoughts on that. Because it was just out. I was almost tempted to go for 300 there, and then 4, and then 5, Just, but I just wanted, because we'd done that last time, I just wanted to see if it had come in, if you like. Did I miss out on a 500, did I? Thing is, next time, if I just do it to free, it won't come in, will it? You know. It has a mind of its own. But I would be uh, curious to hear anyone's thoughts there. Nearly, nearly. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. To 15. There you go, pound. To 20. To 25. 30. 50. 75. No thanks. Mm. 
There is no optimum strategy, it does what the fuck it likes. I really would have loved to show a jackpot here, but like I say, maybe it's not the best thing, you know, because uh, if someone's playing this out in the wild and they saw a jackpot on this vid, they might think, oh, you know, I could get it if I just put another hundred in and I gamble it to the max, you know, but look at this, you know, didn't come in, did it, so. Caution if you're playing free spins out in the wild. It might munch 500 and not pay a feature. We haven't had a feature yet. Fucking hell, man. So it shows how high variance the feature is, doesn't it, really? But then, like I say, it has just paid out a jackpot prior to this video, so... Just being honest. £5.50, this will be the one. Okay. I'm going for a hundred. What increase it a bit there, you know. Yep, so this is episode nine YouTubers of the Triple Seven Rainbow Riches free spins. How it can munch five hundred quid. Be warned. If you're offered two hundred on the gamble with a little profit. Maybe you should take it, but if you max it, you might also win the jackpot. Basically, it does what the fuck it likes. Not a bad game, just a bit of a sort of a high roller one, this, you know, especially on two pound a spin. And it, you know, not given a feature after 500 quid, you know, and we've, we've not really taken any wins out of it. So it's random, it's random but it does what it likes. But seriously, do check your payout tables because if it's compensated and it's on 88%, it's gonna be fucking brutal. So I've seen it in person, absolutely brutal. It'll plop in like wins on the reels, but obviously you can't gamble it and uh, the feature rarely comes in, so. Yeah, I'd love to see a jackpot here, but. There you go, this is how free spins can play if you try and go for the jackpot, so yeah. I'm not going to put any more in. That's £500 versus free spins. Hope some of you enjoyed that. We'll just do two spins at a quid. With the gamble on any win. You never know. Last spin. And that is good night. What can I put the 50p on? Sure, this is this is on 50p because I just changed some settings. Yep, 500 pounds versus Rainbow Riches free spins. Get in there. No, I think I've pretty much um, eradicated 50p, so we'll just fucking collect it. Yeah, real money. Bang! That was the hot 500 cabinet, and that was 500 pounds. Versus Rainbow Riches free spins. And yes, we got absolutely slaughtered there. Lesson learned. If you're in profit from a gamble, maybe you should consider taking it. There you go, YouTube. It's episode 9. Episode 10. We'll do one of the other six games. And then once they're done, we're on to the 70 pounders. Category D, category C. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, I'm sure someone will comment soon. Cheers guys, I'm now going to enjoy the rest of my cider, and yep, thank you for watching. Cheers, take care.